Welcome back. Marco Rubio scrambling in Florida ahead of tomorrow's primary vote. With the latest CBS poll showing the senators trailing both party frontrunner Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz in his own home state. Joining us right now is the chairman of the Latino Coalition and former administrator of the Small Business Association, Hector Barreto. Hector, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. Obviously, the Hispanic vote is critical in this election. The candidates are coveting this key area. What do you think the Hispanic population is thinking right now about Donald Trump? Well, it's, it's been a unifier because Hispanics on both sides of the aisle now are, are looking at this, his candidacy. Was, uh, the negatives are over 75 percent. So I think it's going to be very tough to get that vote in the general. And what we've seen, for, especially for Republican, you can't win the White House without a modicum of Hispanic vote. You've got to break at least 35, 40 percent. But he is getting the Hispanic vote. I mean, look what happened in Nevada. Very small sample. You're talking about a hundred voters, and, uh, and and it was a very small turnout. That's not going to reflect itself on a national basis. You saw what happened in Texas. He was third in the Hispanic vote in Texas. We'll see what happens tomorrow in Florida. If you were his campaign manager, and put you on the spot, and you were in a room with him where you could actually give him some advice that he would take, what would it be? Listen, I, one of my big things is he needs to talk about small business. I never hear him talk about small business. Fastest growing segment of small business in the United States is Hispanic business. Over 3 million companies generating over $500 billion in revenue. And those numbers could double every five years. But they're invisible during this campaign. By the way, all the candidates should be talking about small business. They really should. But, Most of them don't understand yeah. small business. But, but how does the kind of anti-trade tenor that this campaign is taking on and, and the entire election cycle, how does that play into talking to the needs of small business? Well, I think it's concerning. We, we talked about this before. 97% of all companies that are involved in international trade are small businesses, but they only represent 30% of the trade dollars. That, that could grow significantly, but obviously there's a lot of uh, concern and fear about what's going to happen next. Are we going to build a wall? Are we going to do a trade war with Mexico and Latin America? Well, it's not positive. Well, why aren't, if, if being of a, a Latin background or Hispanic background, if, it, if that was so important to the Latino voter, why is Marco Rubio in that poll in third, and he's a distant second in a lot of other Great polls, question, that, right. that, that with Latinos voting, they just care about the economy, and you see Donald right, Trump right. running away with it in right. Florida. Well, here's the thing is, I, I, the Hispanic community doesn't feel like they've really been part of the conversation in any positive way during these primaries. And this is typical. Usually in the general, you have these candidates that start reaching out to the Hispanic community. Oftentimes, it's too late. I mean, I was involved in the, in the Romney campaign, and of course, we weren't uh, reaching out to the Hispanic community in the primaries, and then we tried in the general, and it was too late. The Hispanic unemployment rate is higher than the national yep. average at 6.3 percent. What's the one policy? So you want to see implemented from your next president? Well, again, to the, move the unemployment yeah, rate. The, the number one thing is, you know, we talk about creating an environment for these small businesses. How are they going to get more capital? How are they going to get more contracts? How are they going to grow their capacity and control their costs? We need to talk more about that. All right, we'll leave it there. Hector, good to have you on the program. Thank you, Maria. Today. Thank you so much, Hector Barreto, Michael Jones.